Now, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking off the top mounted Zunsport that sits in the top grill right here and basically fixing, sanding down and rejuvenating the top grill because not only are they so hard to get hold of, but this one looks absolutely disgusting. Now, what I'm going to put it down to is when the locking mechanism broke, the previous owner clearly stuck the keys in the top and that you can see it's in really bad condition, not to mention behind the Zunsport, it's been cut out and I did a massive bodge job you know, what's changed. But all the same, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be fixing it, rejuvenating it, and making it look that much better. So if that's something you've considered doing, something that interests you, consider sticking around. And uh, we'll see you guys very, very shortly. In the meantime, cheese in the PT. Roll the intro. <laughs> Honestly, in life, there's nothing more stressful than my front door. Luckily, this lock's broken temporarily. But, go on Luke, jump outside. Sorry, we're dropping bits everywhere. Yeah, let's attack today's job. Now, guys, I've got something super exciting to tell you. Something that I haven't yet announced. Well, it's super exciting for me, anyway. Guess who got himself one of these with the double filter on the side, with the double cone, with the double air feed, whatever you want to call it, but all the same, it's come off a diesel focus and it's in the living room. So, look what I managed to get hold of. Obviously, it's a direct replacement of the standard ST1 that I've got in here. Basically, long story short, you're looking at an air feed here, hence the shape, and there isn't an air feed there. Now, where's my induction kit? Right here, what needs the air? It's right there, so, taking the slam panel, I think it's called the slam panel cover, or something similar that's the scuttle panel that's the slam panel so taking the slam panel you can now see that it's got two feeds so obviously we can do a direct air injection direct sort of air intake system going into the induction kit so that's going to be quite exciting new induction kit arrives tomorrow so it's well timed now the only difference is as far as i'm aware the plastic on here is a little bit larger than the standard one so there's a little bit of trimming needs to be done but we can get that done somehow i'm sure we can get hold of a dremel um, not quite sure how, but we're going to have to make it happen. More importantly, let's get started. Let's take this off and see what needs to be done. All right, so a little progress update. Now, the shape of this, for some reason, is incredibly difficult to line up to compare to the shape of this. Now, what I'm going to do is I've taped it off, as you can see. I'm going to cut along the line, the top of a piece of tape, and then I'm going to try it, and I'm going to adjust it and see if it works. But for the time being, it's a bit of a nightmare. This one's come off really easily. This thing just needs a lot of love and attention. We'll see how it goes. Now thanks to the hero of a neighbor, that was the only adjusting it really needed. I'm not quite sure about these holes, but we're gonna be taking this out anyway, so I can't really get to that right now. But no, it fits. It works. I'm happy with that. Right, so those two clips release the locking mechanism. These two clips here are held into the front just here. Now this is everything that I wanted to sort out because frankly it's disgusting. The horns are disgusting. It's all pretty horrible. It's just such a mess. Those could be mounted in a better place, I'm not gonna lie. I do really wanna do the uh, conversion kit on this. Install some bonnet struts as well. But yeah, more importantly, this is what we're actually sorting out today. Just see. Right guys, progress update. This is where I've got to so far. So I've cut off one of these. I'm in the process of smoothing it down. All these edges are down here. Obviously this is the one that I just cut off. But yeah, you can see it's a lot smoother. It's gonna take an hour or two just to get this the way I want it. I've broken up the edges up here. I can then smooth down shortly. But yeah, more importantly, just get this covered up. Get this covered up. I'm actually going to relocate the badge because I didn't realize how badly placed it was. But yeah, once I've covered it all up, sanded it all down, it'll be ready to be sprayed black. But now it's going to look sick. Can't wait. All right, guys, I don't usually say this, but I'm quite chuffed with myself, to be honest. So, 
if you look at this now compared to what it was before it looks so much better I haven't got there now I would say I'm probably 65% 70% done in terms of the sanding a lot more smooth edges needed but no it looks so much better can't wait to get it on I'm gonna give all of this a good clean give this a good painting as well because there's a couple of chip marks up there um, the outside air temperature sensor as well I need to locate and the horns right guys so I've cleaned up the front end now I've just got some detailing spray which is the yums one just up there sprayed this loosened it up a little bit I'm gonna give it another coat now try and clean up some of the mess that's actually in here it should then make it a lot easier to know what I need to do what necessarily is looking at what doesn't what's just dirt and what isn't so there's a lot of stuff I can break up probably get a clay bar in there maybe some earbuds and a toothbrush just to try and loosen up some of that grime do need to fix up some of these edges in here probably just going to get the rough edges off with either a file or some sandpaper spray all of this up <clears throat> tape all of this up just to avoid any mess and either wrap this or just spray it temporarily I don't really want to be the guy that uses a marker pen to fix it but no certainly making progress as you can see I've already taped up the front of the grill just need to sand it down just a little bit more and we'll be ready to go all right so this is where I've got to I've trimmed down a little bit more the edges on here both sides and I'm currently in the process of just sanding them down making them smooth so that will make that fit a lot more efficiently and I've also taken off the spring and the Ford badge now I've taken off the badge I can sand down the face I'll make that much more capable of the paint actually sticking but for the time being I can pop this aside and keep that safe now like I said I've got this handy little thing down here it's absolutely brilliant now awesomely I'm not too far away now from being able to lay out that tarpaulin sheet and get the paint out to make this look so much better I'm honestly so excited piss poor preparation equals piss poor performance preparation is key long story short put in the work and it will look nice I'm hoping that is the case we'll see you guys very shortly honestly cleaning this up is such a laborious job but I'm, I'm quite happy with the way that this is set I'm gonna have to prime it paint it and lacquer it and everything clean up the engine bay because there's dust and plastic shards everywhere but no it's definitely made a difference it's just when I battered the front of the grill all that time ago I used a hacksaw that messed up the front so I'm gonna have to sort this out but I'm enjoying doing it and like I said earlier it's nice weather so I'm not complaining hope you guys are having a nice day anyway let me know what you think in the comments and uh have you done any car bits recently you want to let me know about too then uh I want to hear about it we've got to that stage now it's ready to be primed so I'm going to shake the hell out of this in it two layers then we can get to the paint and then the lacquer but it should look really good clean up the front end obviously as I mentioned before just going to get this done and we'll guys this is where it gets exciting gloss black it's time to make this look sexy right hoping for the best let's go with the first layer Now I have actually had a little bit of a brainwave. I do have some red hella horn covers or some hella horns on the way. But what I thought I'd do with these, I'm unsure yet whether it'll be the metal that I paint or the plastic, but I could mount it in the car like so. Have it like that, but have the plastic painted red so they'll look like eyes. And I could actually design my own sort of thing to go on the horns themselves. So you'll better see them through the grill now it's black it's just gonna look so sick i'm even thinking even thinking of permanently attaching this potentially 
permanently attaching it in there. I'm not quite sure yet. May not even have it. May just keep it the way it is, just like that, so I can see the horns right through. You know, air feed and all that. I'm not quite sure. But no, I'm slowly falling in love with this car more and more each day. It's becoming so much more personal. I have done such a ridiculous amount of stuff to this car, and I've got such a ridiculous amount of things left, but I'm loving it. Just waiting for this to dry, and then we should be ready to uh, maybe do some lacquer. Right guys, just while I've been waiting for this to dry, Matey that owns the BMW right here has just come out and showed me something really cool. Now, we've got the bin shed over here, and we've got another one here. But unknowing to, well, unknowing to me, no one uses it. So, I'm just typing in the code. No one uses this bin shed, and it's completely empty. Now, for someone that's got spare sets of calipers and a rear bumper, and when you see wood like this, which means hanging things, all I think is motherfucking spray booth. Anyway, I found this, I'm super excited. I've been here for three years and didn't even know that this existed. It's empty. We're gonna be doing loads of things in here. I'll get my studio lights and we can do proper videos. I'm excited. Now, just for safekeeping, I am gonna give this one more layer. I don't know if it needs it. I'm probably gonna assess it and I'm sure you'll see in the next clip as to whether I decide to do another one. Right, so off camera, I've just given it another coat with this black paint here. I think the can's a bit sketchy if I'm honest. It just seems to blow out a lot of thin air. So you end up thinking you're spraying more than you are. I know that's how it looks at the moment. Obviously once that's dry, I can apply some clear coat lacquer, make it look pristine. But now I'm excited to get it on the focus. I know this has been a bit dull, a bit boring, but doing these, it does take a lot of time, effort and concentration. But now I'm excited, can't wait. I'll see you guys very shortly. dark so I can take a thumbnail <laughs> Right guys, it's about that time that we get it all installed. But this is how it looks. Compared to before, this is a game changer. It looks so much better. Now, as far as I'm aware, it clips in. Now I'm trying to hold this in the most delicate way. Oh, looks sick already. Okay, sorry, I'm being, being strange. Um, get those clips in. Oh, oh. Dual panel that I got off the diesel, that's going in as well. So I'm just gonna pop this one here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the task is to get these unspoil in. And see how much, oh my God, it looks so much better already. Literally looks so much better. I just don't want to put anything on it. Um, right, so these little things here, they hook in at the top. I've left the, uh, now I was thinking, Okay, that does look much better. Much better. I've kept all the little bolts. So guys, there we have it. It's done. The diesel double slam panel is in. Sick, so excited. Plenty of space is now there for stickers or exciting things in the future. And this is the grill. That's how much better it looks. I don't know if you remember what it looked like before, but it was disgusting, old, gray, faded, rough edges, but that's beautiful. 
in our picture a red horn either side because they're arriving in the post soon and I'm also going to do something exciting with the standard ones which are over there on the hedge but yeah that's it it's done it looks sick I'm super happy with it honestly over the next couple of days I've got so many driveway mods to do but they're the exciting mods as well the ones you really want to click on so as always guys you've been amazing thank you very much for watching today's video let me know exactly what you think of this in the comment section below or maybe any advice or tips or maybe things that you're questioning too and if you haven't already subscribed for more awesome content thank you guys and we'll see you in the next video gc and the pt roll the outro peace